In this video, we will be extending our binary classification which we did using logistic regression into the general problem of multinomial classification. Multinomial classification is simply in the case when you have more than one classes, more than two classes. For example, if you have a case where you want to classify digits, okay, we will see examples of this later. So, let us say you have all your digits from 0 through 9. So, this is a 10 class classification problem, somebody has handwritten digits and you want to find out which digit it is. That would be a 10 class problem. So, k equal to 10 in such a case. Okay. So, when we try to solve such problems, there are primarily a few things that we have to do over and above, over and above what we did for the binary classification problem. Okay. So, what we need is the following. First, we need to know how do we represent the output class. For example, in binary classification, we simply decided if it belonged to one class, we would label it as 0. If it belonged to another class, we would label it as 1. Let us say we are dealing with a case where our three classes are something we are trying to label images and the three classes are horses cats and dogs. You have several choices, obviously you cannot label it simply as words as we have discussed in several videos before, you need to give a numerical label. So, one choice is to simply call this class 0, class 1, class 2, that is one possibility. We will look at one other solution which is called the one hot vector. So, we will be looking at this. The second problem is what happens in the final layer. So, recall that in the binary classification task, we use the sigmoid because it neatly gave us a number between 0 and 1. And if it was close to 0, we knew it belonged to class 0 and if it was close to 1, we knew that it belonged to class 1. Now, what do we do in a multinomial classification case? Okay, so, we will be looking at a function called the softmax function, which actually corresponds very well with the one hot vector. So, we will use that for multinomial classification. Finally, we need to answer how we are going to calculate the loss or cost function for this case. We, you look, we looked at the binary cross entropy as the cost function for binary classification. It turns out that we will use something very, very similar even for the multinomial class classification. So, in the videos that follow, we will look at one hot vector, we will look at softmax and we will look at how we are going to look at the loss function for multinomial classification. Mm -hmm.